for a relationship to be not right, it only takes one person to recognize that. And if you are the person who are rece- is receiving the no, you just haven't realized it yet. Hi, I'm Adriel, creator of the Herpes Opportunity, which is all about positively shifting your mindset, disclosing to potential partners in a way that truly connects you, and ultimately finding the love that you want and deserve. Now you can check out the free ebook linked in the description below about having the talk. And now onto the video. I hope you enjoy it. This other really freeing aspect of partnership and even when partnership is a no, is rec- and this it sounds so simple, but when I heard first heard this, it was like an aha moment. For a relationship to be not right, it only takes one person to recognize that. And if you are the person who are rece- is receiving the no, you just haven't realized it yet. So they're just seeing it before you do. You know? And for and to and to to honor that and be like, oh okay, they they see something I don't, and I'm gonna trust that. Right? Whether it be by naivete or like I really want a relationship, so I'm I might be willing to look past maybe what you know, that intuitive whisper that I'm hearing in the back of my mind of like, this actually might not be right for you, right? And you're like, no, 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 like, he's really hot or he's really smart or like, you know, like on paper, it looks great. But maybe he's just seeing something that you haven't yet seen. And have you ever seen the the movie Sliding Doors? There's this great movie. I don't know if I really loved the movie as much as the, the concept of it. And it was, I think it was Gwyneth Paltrow. And the whole premise of the movie was that she wakes up one morning, her boyfriend is laying next to her, she's rushing to work, she's late. And she gets to the subway, and she reaches in, and she just barely makes the subway, right? But in that that moment, it switches to, oh, in an alternate reality, she misses the subway. And then the movie splits in two. And you watch two parallel plots happening. So the one where she misses the subway, she goes back home to her boyfriend an hour later, catches him cheating on her with another woman in their, in their bed that she just left. Right? And you see how completely different these two parallel lives become just in this one moment. Right? And that's kind of the, that's a, the sliding doors moment, right? Where you might be able to, to see, oh, wait, I'm, I'm seeing this relationship from like part A of that sliding doors moment. He's seeing the relationship from part B. Does that make sense? Where it's like, you get to trust that there's, that there's something that he's seeing that you're that you're not quite aware of yet. And it doesn't mean that like don't translate that to say, oh, he's seeing that I'm not worthy. <laughs> it's not that. He's seeing something in the specific dynamic that you two would create in relationship together. Well, I hope you got a lot out of that video. And if you did, please let me know. Please like, comment and subscribe and keep an eye out for more videos just like this.